What's up, everybody? Nick, aka Sushi, here for the first part of my Welcome to Maple Story series, where I tell you guys everything that you need to know about Maple Story and more. But uh, before we get into the guides, um, every single video I'm going to be putting out is going to be focusing on a different topic. And this video, my intro to the series topic is, is Maple Story the game for you? Is it worth playing? Should I play it? Will I have fun? I used to play it back in the day when I was a kid. And, you know, I haven't touched it in years, but, you know, I'm bored and I feel like playing a new game. And this is where I answer your questions. If, you've, if you're completely new to MapleStory, MapleStory is a side-scroller, 2D, cutesy little, you are a cute little character that you can spend money to dress up and to gear, and you attack monsters with cool little animations, and you kill monsters to level up, and so you can wear st stronger gear, excuse me, and so you can go to bigger bosses, and you can get more gear, and you can get higher level. Uh, the level cap is set pretty fucking high to the point where you're gonna have to grind for like a year to be able to actually like cap out in levels. So there's always there's always something to do in Maple Story, um, which is really 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 cool about it. Your dailies like if you're the kind of person that has eight hours of free time and it's like it's the summer or it's a you're on break, then by all means you can fill all eight hours with Maple Story. Or if you're the kind of player that can only get on for an hour a day or an hour every other day, then there's stuff for you to do during those times where it makes it, you feel like you are getting um, enjoyment and you're getting worth, you're getting value out of the time that you spent playing the game. And I think that that's, that's amazing that MapleStory can do that for so long. I've been playing this game on and off for the last 10 years. So it, it definitely has that, that addicting that addicting feel to it. So it's really, really nice. It, it feels rewarding to play it when you're enjoying playing it. So what I'm, what I'm trying to get to in the roundabout kind of way is that you kind of... You're, it's kind of hit and miss with most people. You're either going to like fall in love with it or you're going to want nothing to do with it. And, you know, you don't really lose anything from trying. From trying it out and from going around getting to getting at least a fourth job meeting people 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 always joke and say that like percentages of the game are certain things that the game is only five percent of maple story dressing up your characters like a third of it talking to people is half of it and then there's like another like 10 to 15 percent for for bossing and stuff like that and so it's definitely about the social environment more than anything. I think that's what's kept Maple Story going. So if you're the kind of person that loves interacting with people in a social environment and making friends and talking on Skype, Raid Call, TeamSpeak, there's tons of that in this game. And I've met so many wonderful people playing this game that I would I would never ever in my entire life go back and like go back in time and tell myself not to play this game because this game has such had such a good impact on my life personally with the people I've met and the good times I've had playing it. So people, the, the biggest complaint that I hear is that the game is pay to win and that you don't want to spend money on it. I mean, you don't really have to spend money on it. it. It definitely, like anything, it gets easier with money. That's just how life is. That's any MMO you can buy gold in and it'll help you get gear. But there's always a way for you to be able to get money yourself, and there's always a way for you to be able to do things yourself. And the reward shop and the Better Maple Initiatives, uh, which I'll be talking about in another video, uh, really, really help towards that goal of of not having to pay money to the game if you don't if you're not one of those people that feels comfortable doing so. So, in the end, what I'm trying to say is that if you think that you want to get back into Maple and you want to know if it's worth it, try it the fuck out. What are you going to lose? Some of your time? You know, like, yeah, worst case scenario, you just uninstall the game and you go find something else. Best case scenario, you found the fucking, the game of your life. Uh, so, it's definitely worth it to try out. Uh, grab a friend, you know, hop into a forum and try to get into a guild and meet some new people. It's, it's definitely a good time for everybody, no matter what age you are. There's groups of 12-year-olds running around. There's groups of 25-year-olds running around. So you can pick and choose what, what kind of community you want to be a part of. 
Uh, so I hope to see you guys in game and I'll see you guys on all the future guide videos coming out.